recipe I want to show you is called chicken paprika. And I started off with a chicken, three and a half pounds, cut into four, and these have been browned nicely to give a good golden crust. Then the next thing I did was take two medium onions and brown them in the oil left in the pan, um, and I've got those ready browned here. One thing I'd like to say about paprika, and that is it does lose its flavour quite quickly, so it's one spice not to have hanging around in the larder for too long. Now, once you've browned the onions, the next thing you do is you add a tablespoonful of flour to the pan, plus a tablespoonful of paprika, nice heaped tablespoon, and then a couple of pinches of cayenne pepper, just to give it a little zest. Then you stir those spices into the juices that have come out of the chicken and onions. And as soon as the dryness has gone out of it, you then add a quarter of a pint of chicken stock. Now, this has been made with the giblets of the chicken. If you didn't get giblets with your chicken, then you can just use a quarter of a pint of hot water with a teaspoonful of tomato puree to enrich it instead of the chicken stock. But chicken stock made from the giblets is the best thing to use. So stir that in. And then the next ingredient is the contents of a 14 ounce tin of Italian tomatoes. Right, there's the sauce coming along nicely. The next thing I'm going to do is to put the chicken pieces in with the sauce. Like that. And then you just spoon the sauce over the chicken pieces and then put a lid on and you put it in the oven, a preheated oven, gas mark three, that's 325 degrees Fahrenheit, and you cook it for 45 minutes like that. And then you add one other ingredient, you take the lift's lid off and you add this, which is one green pepper peeled and chopped. So after 45 minutes in goes the green pepper, lid back on, and then give it another half an hour at the same temperature. And then you add something else to it to make a really delicious sauce. And I've got one uh, in the oven now, so I'll show you how to do that. I've left my heat on because I want to put it over direct heat, if possible, while I finish off. And uh, the last thing is a quarter of a pint of soured cream, um, which is what they use in Hungary quite a lot for cooking. And what you do is you just stir in the soured cream. I'm going to switch to a larger spoon here. And uh, just let it have a nice marbled effect. Spoon it over each piece of chicken. So you've got that lovely sort of red and white marbled effect. And then before it goes to the table, just sprinkle on a little bit more paprika, just to make it look pretty. And I would serve that with some buttered noodles. Rice would be nice too, but buttered noodles too.